What up? This is Benji. I'm back with another tutorial on guys, and uh, this is more like um, not really a tutorial, I guess. I guess it's like a demonstration. But anyway, somebody had comment on the last video about guys being a great program to like actually do full beats and people don't really take advantage of it. So um, I decided, you know what, let me challenge myself to kind of do that. So in this demonstration, I am actually doing that. Well, not really a full beat, but it's on the lines of something like I would start in Ableton and then go ahead and finish, which mean having an intro, you know, having a little verse section, a bridge or switching up things. Uh, so that's what I did in this video. I kind of like went through and tried to use the song mode and uh, I'm going to play the beat and then I'll break it down afterwards. All right, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so that's basically the beat um, for where it's at right now. But, um, yeah, I kind of took the challenge a little bit and tried to, like, switch things up a little bit inside of here. And mostly I would do that inside Ableton. But, again, you can make full beats inside of here. And one thing that was stopping me from actually making full beats was my MIDI keyboard. So I couldn't, like, figure out how to switch engines inside of guys in order for me to actually go to different tracks and actually use my midi keyboard to like input notes especially when i'm doing something like sampling couldn't figure it out uh shout out to the guy who actually told me go look on the last video he actually commented on it and actually told me how to do it and it actually worked so shout out to you thanks i appreciate that so for this song i actually started doing that um with my keyboard and it is it works you know what i'm saying so let me go ahead and show you exactly what i did just to break it down put it back i'm gonna put it back in pattern mode and the way you do that is it's, it's a little button over here that says song and pattern you just kind of click that and if you go to song you'll see that it, it grays out all right so back in pattern mode um this is the sample i use but it's from a kit I got off uh, that I bought uh, a while ago. And uh, I just kind of, you know, chopped it up and slowed it down. Seven, seven minus seven semitones. And it gave me this effect. <laughs> So nothing crazy. Yeah, that was the sample. Next thing is the drums, which I got the kicks, snares, hi-hats, 808s, percussions all separated. On, on some of them, I have like some percussion and hi-hats together, but for the most part, everything is separated. And then I went through and changed up the patterns a little bit on certain sounds, like that little that little switch up I did for, for the verse or whatever. I threw some uh, other notes inside, well, some other sounds up inside of it just to give it some a different feel or, or, or whatever. As well as with the 808. Now, the 808, I did, actually, I did it with my MIDI keyboard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me play that. So 
I did that with my MIDI keyboard and if you want to start doing that you got to go to your chromatic mode right here on the side it, it'll usually say normal um, and then you just go down to your chromatic mode and then you have all the notes there to where you can switch switch uh switch pitches and, and everything like that there's a few other things you could do like velocity and you know solo mute thing or whatever but i needed it for that so um i was able to do that thanks to the person who actually showed me how to use my midi keyboard with that 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 was like a gem a jewel for me i really appreciate that all right so that's how i was able to get the the um 808s to do exactly what i wanted it to do and normally what i was doing and that's why i never did 808s inside of here because it would take so long i was just inputting the notes and then going to the chorus pitch or or, or pitch um right here on the side and i was just like you know slide the slider up up and down to kind of try to get the notes to fit into whatever pitch i needed to go to you know what i'm saying and that was a headache if you can imagine doing all that by one by one and still trying to have some type of uh some type of creativity behind it because you know when you're creating you want to be kind of quick with it so that was a blood that was like a, a a real gym thanks uh whoever uh go check it out man he, i don't know if he got videos on his page or not but thanks for that man i appreciate that but anyway so yeah that's that's basically the beat and then i went through and you know did a few pans and stuff like that uh with some of the notes with some of the sounds did some pans and you know different little rolls hi-hat rolls and stuff like that with the drums especially with the percussions i kind of went i did a little bit more with it or whatever and it's some of this stuff is off grid because i programmed it with my with my hand this time so it's got a it got a better fit or feel you know i didn't even correct the notes or anything so that was that was a good thing or whatever for the beat or whatever so yeah this is basically how i did it inside of here using a midi keyboard and actually trying to challenge myself to actually use the song mode and i probably will be doing way more now that i know that my midi keyboard actually works inside of it so thanks for watching this video like i said it was just a quick little demonstration on what you can do and guys and even uh i went through and did some little and put some plugins on it a lot of people don't really use the uh, the effects inside of guys and they do have some really great effects inside here so you can get get crazy with it and go 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 deep you know i did i did do a few little things but not really um if you go to if i go to my mixer let me see uh i put some yeah, so I just like cleaned up cleaned up the snare a little bit. Uh, I think I cleaned up this little clap a little bit. Took some of the low low end out of it. Turned the gain down a little bit on there as well as on the fader, which is in the mixer. Kind of like just try to shape it a little bit. And uh, on my master, I got I'm dipping around that uh, hunky area, which is like four or five. 600 uh let's see yeah like six 620 it says on my parametric eq um so yeah i did a little bit a little bit of shaping on, on on that end and then uh you know a limiter and a bus in a game one thing i didn't like one thing i didn't like it was kind of low so i had to use a game to actually drive the uh drive the song into the compressor a little bit to drive it into the limiter to give it some more uh gain and then uh you know have it sound a little bit more better but yeah for the most part it's dope you know what i'm saying like you can you can get 
more in depth, and I think I'm a do. I I think I am gonna be more in depth with it. Uh, but I'll be posting more videos about that. Thanks for watching. Peace.